Gemini's come out to play. Where are my twins? Listen, sorry if you hear this in the background. My brother is, <laughs> my brother is uh, not a nice person. So sorry about that if you hear my laptop in the background, but he actually made me laugh. So extended bonus reading for Gemini's guys. These don't have an intro. We're going to get right into these cards. You guys are definitely dealing with some energy. Um, I was so optimistic about where everything was going for the Gemini's. I had such a beautiful month during your birthday month. The irony of it is with me being a sun sign cancer, the sun has been shining in my, my zodiac sign all month. Obviously, uh, Leo is here, which I'm welcoming because as you guys know, um, that's, that's, you know, strength. And we need that energy because we're going to need to be strong with this eclipse that we have coming up. But Gemini, you guys for the how does Bay feel about you was a very, very low viewership. I'm actually very shocked. So I'm feeling like you guys need me. And although you went last, um, you were one of the last three based on the viewership. I'm switching it up and. I'm feeling like you guys really need this message um, and I'm calling out. This is a me calling out to my Gemini's. You bring such a beautiful energy to the party and we need that. OK, we're going to need your you, your jovial, your your uh, the, 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 the way that you guys care about people. We're going to need your energy because some of your fellow Zodiac signs aren't doing that well. OK, you guys have some really beautiful energy here for today um let's get into it the bottom of the deck energy guys you you guys are the empress now what i know about the empress is beautiful first of all the empress in this particular deck if you're looking at the picture is represented by the queen of hearts this is the cancer card um, a lot of times people liken or they say, and, and I, I can buy into this, this theory that I'm about to say. Absolutely. The um, chariot is represented by the sign of cancer. But when I look at the empress, the empress, you know, they say bad things about the empress. Oh, it's the mistress card. It's the this card. It's the that card. Sorry if you hear me shuffling. I'm going to stop for now, but I needed to do that because we are going to do a clarifier with the angel answer oracle card um that will be pulled at the end but will not be shown on the picture i mean yes on the picture okay so let's go first and foremost you're feeling like the empress which is interesting because your energy in the last couple of series that i've done has kind of been i feel like this but you guys were definitely the happy hermits and this looks like you still are it's funny because I remember this four of diamonds coming out. I'm pretty sure it came out and it's basically stating that you guys are preoccupied with money. And whenever you having some money issues or there's a preoccupation, uh, th there's some type of preoccupied. I'm going to make it uh, past tense and hopefully it works. <laughs> a preoccupation <laughs> when you're preoccupied with um, one thing, then another thing is left neglected. And that's what I want to say. The Empress um, overall is a beautiful energy with everything that's being thrown at you. You still feeling like the Empress? You guys are bosses. That's boss energy. That's tapping into your emo. That's this eclipse. Because listen, no one unless you have sun sign cancer or other strong sun moon rising. OK, sun moon rising water. You don't you, you don't relate. And even in those placements, even with um, not so much a sun with moon and rising. The water aspect works differently. Only people that can relate to having the motto, I feel, therefore I am, is a sun sign cancer. I don't give a hell what the rest of your placements are, how much they square. 
how much they oppose, you're still going to feel that way. You'll be masking it, but you'll be feeling that way. So I'm happy to see that you guys are embracing this energy. Congratulations. You are the Empress. Let's talk about it. The Empress, the mother, the nurturer, the wife, pregnancy, marriage. That's beautiful. Okay. Represented by the Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts is also... <sighs> Knows how she feels, but is not always quick to express it. You're in love with someone, Gemini. What's crazy about it is you have the Ace of Cups down here. How with everything you have going on is always the tale of two, the tale of two uh, readings, the tale of two spreads. It all, every single time I pull and I love it because I just, I, you, hey, spirit is using me as a vessel. I am here. I am here. Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. We have two hearts. Hearts is the equivalent of cups. Let's talk about these zodiac signs really quickly because I'm excited to get into these cards and I don't want to get off. I don't want to get off um, balance here. So we have two hearts. Um, you definitely have a strong, strong, strong focus on finances. You have a lot of earth. Congratulations for that. That's definitely balancing. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like you're trying to just get a whole ahead of everything and balance the scales. Good for you guys. Tap into that Libra. Maybe you have Libra as your sun or your moon, Gemini. Um, but you're definitely doing a balancing act. And I don't have a Libra card here. This is just what I'm feeling like when I'm looking at the energy that surrounds you again. This is going to be either you having these elements in as um, your chart, okay, this is what's in your chart, this is what you're surrounded around, or this is what um, you're going to be connecting with, okay, so again, we have very, very strong water, the epitome of the water cards, we're not talking about two, three, four, no, we're talking about the ace of cups and the queen of hearts, which is the empress in this deck, you put your stamp on that, this is the epitome Epitome, epitome of love emotions relationship new relationship new start that bring happiness for all there is definitely a new start that you're working on okay hearts is the equivalent of a suit of cups suit of cups of course represent the element of water cancer pisces scorpio okay on the other side of the board however we have strong earth diamonds okay Diamonds represent the suit of pentacles. Pentacles represent the element of earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. OK, and then we got one little bitty action card here. Just one. That's clubs. Clubs represent the suit of wands. Wands represent the element of fire. OK, Leo, Aries and Sagittarius. Now, let's rock. I've told you about this empress. OK, um, you got strong pent. OK, you're you're preoccupied with materials. You're preoccupied with um, with money right now. I think that came out in one of your other readings. You have a lot going on as far as trying to get your finances back on track. What I'm picking up on, though, is that um, this eight of diamonds, this is what I'm liking. So the jack of diamonds here is indicating to me that some of you guys are going back to school you're this person if you see the illustra the illustration she's drawing you're grabbing the bull by its horns you have strong earth energy so i'm going to go ahead and use that analogy and you're reevaluating something that you're already good at so for example <clears throat> some of you guys may sew some of you guys you know you may do hair whatever the entrepreneurial spirit is you're picking it up because this eight is letting me know that this is something that you're already good at this is something that you're already good at this is something that you already do this is an existing talent that you have that you are making money from so congratulations and the jack is letting me know when you put those together that that's you can definitely focusing on Falling back in love with what makes you happy with this business. Maybe there was a lag. Maybe there was something going on as far as 
something that threw you off. Maybe you just haven't been yourself lately. Maybe this is you going back to the drawing board about that business, but this is you tapping into something that you already do, an existing talent, I'm saying. Something that you either have wanted to do that got shelved, you were in the middle of, but this is a reevaluation of what makes you happy because you're preoccupied with this money. You have to do what you have to do to get this money going on um, and get this money flowing. OK, maybe the it wasn't that the business was stagnant. It was just that you simply decided to take another look at how you can um, just open up revenue streams. And that's excellent because that's what I'm talking about, Gemini. Um, how do I know that? Because we got this action card, this three, this three of spades, I'm sorry, three of clubs lets me know that from an action standpoint, you're not just talking about it. You ain't just talking about it. This is completion of the first stage of a new project of something new that you have launched progress and business. My friend progress. Something is going to be opening up to let you know that you are successful. You're going to be rewarded. Efforts rewarded. Success in business, Gemini. Congratulations. That is what's going on. Okay. But there's an issue. There's an issue. Well, what's that issue, Marvelous? Well... How you got all that going on, Gemini? But you the emperor. <laughs> and you got the ace of cups. You got all this strong entrepreneurial business stuff going on. But there is something that's eluding you. Uh-oh. Something that's eluding you. Oh, popped out. <sighs> What's eluding you? Oh, I like it. I like it. What's eluding you is love. Listen, I call myself the crabby cappy. Crabby for my cancer, cappy for my moon. That definitely explains <laughs> the contradiction that there is looming in my own head. On one hand, I'm a Capricorn, very much so from an emotional level. But then on the cancer end of the spectrum, there is a deep need to connect and nurture and all of those great things that cancers bring to the table. I, I feel like a Gemini sometimes. I feel like a Pisces. I feel like you and, and I can relate to you guys as energy where on one hand we have to do this. But then on the other hand, we need this. Some of you guys are in love and these cards stick out like a sore thumb. I don't understand how it even makes sense or it even because something's being neglected. You have the four of diamonds down here. I've already told you that energetically that's what your focus is and something is being neglected. You have this deep yearning desire in you to really move forward in a loving relationship. And this ace of cups. It sticks out like a sore thumb, not because it, it, it I don't understand it. it. It the empress lets me know right there that, yes, you have a pre you, you are preoccupied. But this is this is Mrs. I feel therefore I am talking to you guys. You have those moments by yourself that you don't tell nobody about. And you start wishing and hoping. You want to get pregnant, possibly. You want to get married. Oh, you're in love. You are. This isn't a brand new love. This is somebody that exists. You want everything with that person. Everything, good, bad, or indifferent, and you can't let that go. You are wanting to marry and be with this person. But again, this is like your 2.0 to Gemini, because you guys were one of the last readings I did a couple days ago. And I remember if my memory serves me correct, your reading for mid month love was very much so about finances and career. If I'm not mistaken, that was your romance angel oracle card. This is a direct correlation of that. 
Um, I'm really planning on doing a 2.0 to either how does Bay feel about you or the mid month love. But this is really why I keep calling these a 2.0 because it's like they're extending and I'm, I'm not trying to. <laughs> I promise I'm not. I just happened to remember the last three because they were so, you know, they were a couple of days ago. Anyway, that's what's going on. So you heard me shuffling. Um, there will be no romance angel oracle cards. I am clarifying with the angel answer oracle cards. And I didn't pull a bottom of the deck for uh, Capricorn. Cappy, don't worry, because I am bringing some more content to you. Um, I only clarified it, but I didn't flip it over. Something told me to flip the deck over and look at the bottom of the deck. So Gemini, there's a question that's been in your head. There is something that not pertaining to what's going on in uh, your career and your money that's looking up. That's like I said, congratulations, because you're going to be rewarded for those efforts. And I think a similar uh, scenario came out with your mid month love. This is at this is love. I'm, I'm dealing. I'm thinking that this. Yes, that popped out. Yes, came out. L literally, yes, it popped out and hit me in the face. That's clarifying this entire situation. But more importantly, I think that this has something to do with this person that you want to marry. The answer is yes. And then when I flipped over, I can't I can't even make this shit up. When I flipped the deck over just to see what the bottom of the deck energy was on this Oracle deck, don't stop came up. Again, these two Oracle cards, I have pulled them, but they will not be pictured. They will not be in the picture. So the angels are telling you yes and don't stop. That's clarifying this situation. Don't stop. OK, don't stop it. This is what I'm feeling. When I see this Ace of Cups and this Empress, I get so excited. I understand exactly what you what you're dealing with. OK, and I want you to know that Marvelous got your back. Keep up what you're doing. OK, and Gemini, that has been your reading, honeys. This is so beautiful. I hope that this definitely resonated with you. You know how to hit me up. Go ahead and like it. Share it with a Gemini in your life. Someone needs this message. I'm calling out to you guys. I need for you guys to let me know what you're going through. I know it's hard. We have Mercury in retrograde. Mercury. <laughs> Mercury will be retrograde in about another four days. Take that and, and, and recover. Relax. But you're being rewarded, honey. And I really appreciate you guys for uh, bringing your energy to the table. I so appreciate you guys. You really, I, I'm telling you. I appreciate that Gemini and I do have Gemini in my chart <laughs> and I have Gemini in my chart in my house that rules my learning. So Gemini, if you know how you can be with you learning something, that's how I am. So I completely relate to this. You guys have beautiful energy today. Stay tuned. I got some more stuff coming up for you guys. OK. Bye, Gemini.